Hi, my name is Ray. Me and my friends Dodie, Mimi, and Faffles, we love to come to this wonderful library. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She's really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories, when she's awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing and dance. Rushing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, over the fields we go. Hi, Holy. Now that you're up, can you please, please tell us a Christmas story from all the great books that you read? Well, yes. Today's story is about the little match girl. Once upon a time, a poor little girl sat in the corner of a street to sell matches. Nobody had bought anything of her the whole day. She was really cold. The flakes of snow covered her long fair hair which fell in beautiful curls around her neck. From all the windows, the candles were gleaming, and it smelled so deliciously of roast goose. It was New Year's Eve. The poor girl could not go home since she had not sold any matches. Her little hands were almost numb with cold. Oh, a match might warm me, she said. She drew one out. It was a warm, bright flame, like a candle, but soon the small flame went out. She had only the remains of the burnt-out match in her hand. She lit another, and where the light fell on the wall, there the wall became transparent, like a veil, so that she could see into the room. On the table was a snow-white tablecloth, and a roast goose steaming with its stuffing of apple and dried plums. Suddenly, the steaming goose hopped down from the dish, with knife and fork in its breast, till it came up to the poor little girl. Then, the match went out, and nothing but the cold, damp wall was left. She lit another match. Now, there she was sitting under the most magnificent decorated Christmas tree. Thousands of lights were burning on the green branches. The little maiden stretched out her hands towards them. Then, the match went out. She drew another match against the wall. It was again light, and in the light stood her old grandmother, the only person who had really loved her, so bright and radiant and so full of love. Grandmother! cried the little one. Oh, take me with you! She rubbed the whole bundle of matches quickly against the wall, and the matches gave a brilliant light. Her grandmother looked so beautiful. She took the little girl in her arm, and both flew in brightness till they were with God. But in the street corner sat the poor girl, with a smiling face leaning against the wall, frozen to death with one bundle of burnt matches. She wanted to warm herself, people said. No one knew of the beautiful things she had seen. That was a beautiful story. I really, really liked it. The little girl is no longer cold and hungry. She's now with God. Well, I'm glad you did. Until next time then, kids. I am off to sleep. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire 
in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.